Hello guys, so today we are going to show you how you actually uh, turn on arm and actually fly or spool up a Roven 470 or 450 with an X2 controller. First of all, the radio has to be turned on. Make sure you have four batteries in the back here. Um, once you turn the radio on, push both buttons, you will get a warning. All these switches have to be up, the radio starts. Then we remove the canopy and we plug the battery in. Make sure the battery is fully charged. We go through a boot up sequence. You will see the light flashing here. Controller doing all sorts of interesting things here. So it's gonna take a while for the GPS to acquire a signal. So just let's walk through the levers. There's actually two levers here on top that are important for you to get actually airborne. We have the mode switch, GPS, angle and manual. So in manual angle mode, you get a direct reaction on the swash plate and you can actually fly straight away. You don't have to wait, you don't have to, as soon as this swash plate is working, uh, these both modes are fine to go. You can fly indoors in these modes. Um, in a GPS mode, you have to wait until this light goes from a double flash to a single green flash. Single green flash means we have upstairs signal acquisition so um, make sure the sky is not obstructed check GPS weather it's like with a drone it needs a good signal uh, otherwise it can't hold the position very well so um, in order to arm the thing um, you have to actually get this lever here to the cut position this is the motor off position it won't arm so what happens is as soon as you arm this machine this flashy light will go solid. This means the motor will turn on if you flip this switch to the run position. Right now it's not armed, so no worries, nothing will happen. We just have to wait for the GPS to acquire the signal. It's still a double flash, so hang on. Now, you see, it just happened, we have the, si the GPS signal. Now what we do is, this is the throttle lever, we go down and we go to the right and, after, and hold it there and we will see this thing go solid. You see that? Now, it will turn the motors on if we flip that switch. If you wait for 15 seconds, this will disarm itself. It's a safety feature. So while I've been talking to you guys, this disarmed itself and nothing happens here. So we have to do this again. Confuses people sometimes. It's solid. And now if you flip that switch, the machine will spool up the rotors and you can fly it. And of course, if you flip that switch back, it turns it off again. So don't flip that switch while you're in the air because, yeah, exactly, it'll fall out of the air like a, a brick. Don't do that, that's just for emergency and shutting it down after landing. Once you shut it off, it's another 15 seconds and that thing goes disarm and you don't have to worry about anything. And that's that. If you go to the GPS mode, uh, to the angle or um, the manual mode, you can fly without having a GPS signal. So this can double flash and you'll still be able to arm it. And that's about it. Thank you guys. Bye.